Hello, all musings of a mystic, and I am the mystic behind the musings. And today, I am musing about what it's like to be telepathic. Now, I would like to say that I am in no way special here. Everybody on some level is telepathic or can become telepathic. A lot of us just don't realize it. So there. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. So anyway. I was inspired to make this video because recently I just accepted that telepathy is one of the abilities that I have. I would like to fine tune it. I think it's connected to the uh, my empath nature because I, I also have a hard time um, until the thought is validated. I have a hard time separating my thoughts from other people's thoughts and a lot of people have this same issue which is why most people think they're not telepathic. They just, you know, oh I just know this guy so well that I just know what he's gonna say or well I, that was just a coincidence or whatever. It's not. You are picking up on energy and you're reading it and you're translating it and that is what's going on. Period. In my head. In my opinion. But anyway this is gonna be a part of the what it's like to be telepathic vlog that this is probably gonna be the first episode or whatever um for me what it's like to be telepathic is i will have a thought and then somebody else will say that thought out loud and it's validated because it's something that i would never think about and here's an example I work with this guy who has like really bad back problems and um, we were in the store and I was getting ready to say hey man you should probably go get a an inversion table for your back it probably help you out a little bit before I could even say that he said I should probably get an inversion table for my back you know and I was like all right I was just gonna say that but okay and the reason why I feel like I'm not crazy and I'm, I'm, I'm not just, you know, knowing these people and saying these things because I am, you know, so closely connected that I just know what they would say. The reason why I feel like I'm not crazy is because I get a lot of validation back. And a lot of this shit is stuff that I would never think about. Like, I would never, it's not at the forefront of my brain to say, oh, you should probably get an inversion table for your back because it would help you a lot. It's just not. So, there. And with my husband, he'll, he'll just look. And I'll be able to say basically what he was thinking. And he'll say, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'm not saying that not, I'm, okay. Knowing people probably helps you more with your telepathy toward them because you know them. You have a stronger energetic, energetic bond with them. Now, you could probably easily say, oh, that's all just coincidence and be knowing this person. Fine. Try it with somebody you don't know. <laughs> like, I'll be in the store and there'll be somebody that's just there and I'll say something and they'll say, I was just thinking that. That is validation, especially if it's something that you would, especially if it's just random. Oh my God, this, that, and the fourth. I was just thinking that. Yeah, that's telepathy right there. So what got me thinking about it was I was watching a video on YouTube or something and they were talking about telepathy and how to actually develop it and how to become telepathic. And for me, like I said, it's kind of like the, the, the empath in me where I have an emotion. The 
that's not my emotion and that's it right now I'm looking for an address so I'm having a hard time concentrating so I guess this particular vlog will be over thank you guys for watching I love you so much and I'll be back with more instances instances and what it's like for me personally to be telepathic and empathic and a highly sensitive person and I think I just passed my turn so I've got to turn around and uh, oh no sweet I love you guys ta-ta for now